driving an extremely special Japanese legend. This is arguably the most iconic sports car of all time. Built from a completely different strain of cars to every other vehicle known to man, this is the culmination of decades of Japanese engineering put into this final offering. This is none other than this 2001 Mazda Series 8 FD3S RX-7 and it is the complete package. Everything that you can possibly think of has been done to this vehicle and it's the showcase of the true beast within this rotary legend. Though the RX-7 started not just from the FD but it has a long lineage from Genesis with the SA22 and the FB. They were the building blocks of what this car is and then came the FC and then the 13B turbocharged engine then came into play and then from there it all went completely berserk. And if you watch anime, you'll know this car from Initial D. You even had the video games. The Initial D video game, you had MT and Gran Turismo. But if you weren't into video games, this car was also a sheer force on the racetracks and in every single aspect this car was just a winner. You're gonna have to forgive me during this video because this car is extremely loud. It sounds as though a jet is about to take off in this car. All the whistles, the noises and the sound of that boost. This car has a fully built bridge ported 13B turbocharged engine that was built by Kensei Auto Works and it's pushing out 495 rear wheel kilowatts and yes you may be wondering is it just engine lights that this car has? Because no, it has the complete works for suspension modifications and the owner has actually told me he spent more on getting it to handle just right rather than the power alone so it's extremely stiff in this cabin and you're going to hear a lot of rattling that's attributed to the control arms and the bushings the full modifications on this FDRX7 is so long and extensive honestly I can't remember the full mod list but I'm going to leave it in the description for you guys to witness because this car is quite literally the dream to see what this car has to offer if you guys want to see epic car reviews and some more automotive related content here on youtube consider subscribing to the channel and let's get straight into it shall we sitting at three and a half thousand rpm let's give it a little hit Pushing out 495 rear wheel. 
drives in the rear and I think from there it's going to really enhance the grip through the corners this car feels so balanced but the sheer amount of power is just a little bit too much for the street but being that it's owned for the track there's just so much potential and you have to bear in mind with all this power this car only weighs 1250 kilograms and with all that go you're going to want to have some serious weight so thank god because this car has six piston ap racing calipers at the front with two piece rotors all round and it's got a 1.5 weight nasdaq speed limited slip differential and being that it's bridge ported it just accentuates that soundtrack it's a car that literally stops people in its tracks the look of the fdrx7 is just so unique still to this day 25 years on still has such a modernity about it that it almost looks futuristic at times yes this car has gone away with the pop-up headlights that are just so characterful the replacement are sleek Ari Amamiya glass headlights and they really bring out a contemporary feel and look about this car Ari Amamiya are known for designing extreme RX-7s and when it came to the FD they really pushed the boundaries of what can be done onto this vehicle and this car sports the full body kit from Ari Amamiya it doesn't stop with just the Ari parts it's got Ganondor mirrors TE 37 Saga in this innocent blue paintwork I think it looks subtle without being right there and in your face it almost goes unnoticed in this blue paintwork but I like that about it it looks stealthy and sinister at the end of the day it's still a street car and in following that trend it doesn't have a wide body kit it doesn't have a big GT wing on it and it's not an obnoxious color yes I get it it's an RX-7 and it's been highly modified but only when you peel back the skin of this car then only you can really see the true magic of what the owner has done onto it in the cabin of this car the theme of just attention to detail continues and you've got four defi gauges which show you the turbo boost pressure the water temperature the oil temps as well as the oil pressure you've got a lovely double din head unit here that's got navigation and the works in front of me you've got a Haltec can gauge which shows you the full diagnostics of this vehicle at my fingertips you've got a personal nardi steering wheel and i'm sitting in a set of bright gs carbon buckets if you're looking to pick up a series 8 fd rx7 you're looking at spending around 50 to 60 thousand australian dollars at the very minimum these cars are a dying breed and they don't make any more rotary vehicles this is the end of an era so without a doubt prices are just going to keep rising it's an appreciating asset if you're looking to pick one up i'd honestly do so as soon as you can because who knows how far up they're going to end up at you know i've driven a lot of these cars on the channel but when it comes to epic driver's cars it really doesn't get any better than the fd rx7 i've driven them all gtrs nsx's supras just can't get enough of it. I've had an absolute blast driving this car out 